Boycott's Work, A Deep Dive into Israel's Economic Struggles Many argue that boycotts don't work, but the facts tell a different story. Over the past year, Israel's economy has been hit hard by boycotts and divestment campaigns perhaps more than by any other form of resistance. In this video, we'll explore how the boycott movement has impacted Israel, from consumer goods to corporate relationships and even cultural and financial sectors, legislation and consumer boycotts. Israel's economic struggles have been so severe that they pressured the U.S. government into passing Bill H.R. 5179, the Anti-BDS Labeling Act, this legislation allows products made in Israel to avoid the Made in Israel label, hiding their origin to minimize the impact of boycotts. This move shows the desperation to curtail the growing boycott movement. But despite these efforts, consumer boycotts have spread globally. A report from Bloomberg shows that one in three consumers are now actively avoiding Israeli products due to the ongoing conflict. Companies deeply associated with Israel are feeling the weight of this consumer-driven movement. Corporate impact, some major corporations have made bold decisions in response to public pressure. Samsung made headlines by withdrawing its operations from Israel, a business decision that kept them off the boycott list and aligned them with global sentiment. In stark contrast, Apple has maintained its close ties with Israel, largely due to deep-rooted connections with Zionist investors. Nestle, another major global brand, has seen a significant drop in sales over the past year. The boycott contributed to a decline in their net profits by 12% compared to the same period in the previous year. McDonald's, a longtime supporter of Israel, provided free meals to Israeli Defense Forces IDF during the recent Gaza genocide. For decades, McDonald's has been a supporter of Israel's military efforts, but due to the economic pressure, the company has re-evaluated its stance. Recently, McDonald's announced the closure of 225 stores in Israel a monumental shift. Similarly, Starbucks, after reporting a 23% drop in international profits and a 7% drop in global sales, publicly declared its support for Palestine and followed suit by cutting ties with Israel. Puma, a major sports brand, also joined the boycott movement, ending its sponsorship deal with Israel's national football team. These corporate exits are examples of how powerful the boycott movement has become in reshaping corporate strategies. Financial sector and cryptocurrency, the financial sector, too, is feeling the effects. The Israeli government, through the IDF, pressured Binance, a major cryptocurrency exchange, to freeze the funds of Palestinian citizens. This act ignited widespread outrage, and within 24 hours, over 44,000 Bitcoin worth over $2.6 billion was withdrawn from the platform. Binance subsequently faced a massive liquidity crisis as users lost trust and fled the exchange. Furthermore, international investors are pulling back. A Danish pension fund with over 420,000 members withdrew investments from 11 Israeli banks joining the global divestment campaign. Similarly, Ireland's sovereign wealth fund worth 15 billion euros divested from six Israeli companies due to their activities in occupied Palestinian territories. Japan's Itochu Corporation ended its business relationship with Israel's Elbit Corporation, and 76 universities in Spain stopped collaborating with Israeli academic institutions, signaling widespread disapproval of Israel's actions. Intel, a tech giant that has long supported Israel, had to halt its planned $25 billion chip-making project in the country, although the company denied the ongoing conflict as the reason. Internal pressure, however, seems to have played a role. Meanwhile, AXA, a French multinational insurer, was forced to sell its investments in all major Israeli banks due to similar pressures. Cultural and academic backlash, the boycott movement has also reached cultural institutions, especially in academia and entertainment. 
For major universities in San Francisco cut ties with Israeli weapons manufacturers. King's College London and the University of Copenhagen have followed this trend, severing their collaborations with Israeli defense firms. Even Hollywood, long seen as a supporter of Zionist narratives, hasn't been immune. Marvel's upcoming movie, Captain America, Brave New World, faced a significant backlash when it was revealed that the film would introduce an Israeli Mossad agent, Sabra, as a superhero. Mossad has been linked to numerous controversial activities, and this character sparked outrage. Marvel is now attempting to distance the character from Israel, reworking their narrative to avoid further backlash. International Relations and Investment Decline Countries that previously maintained strong relations with Israel have begun pulling back due to the boycott movement. Colombia announced it would no longer import coal from Israel, aligning with the global boycott. At the same time, investments in Israel have dramatically slowed. New investment activity has dropped by 49%, with half of Israeli startups having their funding canceled or frozen. These economic shifts are a direct result of political and ethical concerns surrounding Israel's actions in the region. A Hebrew newspaper, Mariv, recently reported that 46,000 Israeli businesses have been forced to shut down due to the ongoing war and its devastating impact on the economy.